students from BTS class here. Yes, we are students from a cinema school here in Luxembourg. We have an opportunity to meet you actually. So we would like to ask you some questions. I started in 1989. We finished shooting in, we finished the film in 2017. And finally, two weeks ago in Portugal, it was finally released. So it's been a very long time. I guess I'm just very slow worker. Well, I'm just not very good. I just take a long time. Now the problem with Quixote was we could never raise enough money. We always got to a certain point, and so I spent many years with different producers thinking we could raise the money, and then after two years, oh, we couldn't, so we start again. And so I've been through many producers, uh, but luckily it's all finished. How was the transition from becoming an actor to actually becoming a film director? No, mine wasn't that direction. Mine was from a cartoonist to an animator to a film director. But luckily I was part of a group, of a gang of six, who wrote, performed, did everything. And we were in a position to have a lot of very successful uh, musicians and uh, record companies give us the money to make Monty Python Holy Grail. And Terry Jones and I both said, anybody named Terry gets to di direct. And the others agreed with that stupid idea. So we got, we got our names up on the screen that said we directed it, which is the important thing if you're going to be a film director, get your name up there first. <laughs> Uh, so I want to ask you, uh, what is the movie that had the biggest impact on your life? Well, I know which movie has the, had the biggest impact on Vladimir Putin's life. I believe that was Ivan the Terrible. So we have to blame Sergei Eisenstein for what we are in now. <laughs> what is the advice for the young filmmakers and young actors, maybe? I think get a proper job is my best advice. Get a job, be a carpenter, a plumber, an electrician. These are jobs that will keep you active for all your life and making uh, money. The problem with film, it's a very difficult business and you've really got to be passionate or even possessed, I would say, to go into the business. It isn't something you just do casually. You have to commit your life to it and then you have to be patient and wait for the years to pass before you actually can do what you want to do. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. It was such a pleasure. And welcome, welcome to Luxembourg. <laughs>